So in this short series, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be learning how to create our own uh, really simple bot using the new Facebook Messenger platform. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know to get your uh, first Facebook bot up and running. And what we're going to be doing is uh, also learning how to process messages that we get back from Facebook and how to send messages to Facebook uh, using the Messenger API. So in this first part, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be setting up all the prerequisites uh, that we need to in order to get our bot up and running. So in order to, to uh, create a Facebook bot, we need to have a Facebook page. So here I am on the um, create page uh, page on Facebook. Um, what I did was I just created a, a brand new Facebook account just for the tutorial series. And I'm going to create a page for our bot. So what I'm going to do for the bot, I'm going to choose brand or product. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to choose a category. I'm going to choose app page. And I'll, cur I'll, and I'll type in something to call our bot. So I'll say, and then let's just click get started. And we're just going to skip this and hopefully just skip it all. So there we have our page created. I'll just skip through this. And now what we need to do is we need to create our bot. So the way we do that is we need to create a Facebook developer account. So here I am on the uh, Facebook developer website. Uh, the first time you go on to it, you're going you're to have to uh, associate the uh, developer account with your actual Facebook account. It just takes a second. Uh, and I've already done that. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click create a new app. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click website and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, give the app a name. So I'm going to type in bot. Then I'm going to click create new Facebook app ID. So I'm just going to put in francis at hoko.org uh, and for the category I'm going to choose just education for the tutorial. You can pick one that's more specific to your bot uh, and then you click create app ID. So here is just the security one that just wants it to click on the waterfalls. It'll probably be different for you. Uh, and then let's just click Submit. So after you've done that, it takes you to this page. And we're just going to uh, click Next. So we have to tell Facebook about the website we're going to use to host our bot. And as you can see here, I have a website here called facebook-bot.cz.ie. Pay no attention to uh, cz.ie for now. It's going to be coming up in um, a future tutorial series. It's going to be the successor to es.vc. Uh, but for now, I've used that to create a domain name uh, and create a website, facebook-bot.cz.ie, and this is going to be used to host our bot. This is just running off of uh, Best Place Web Hosting, uh, and that's what is uh, hosting this blank screen at the minute. So if I just type in uh, facebook-bot.cz.ie, and I click Next, it wants me to do these things. I can just skip all this uh, and... That's me done. So if I uh, skip quick start, here we are in our app dashboard. And so to create our actual bot, we need to go down to products, click add product. We need to go to messenger and click get started. And here what we do is we just click get started again. And then we have um, the product added to our uh, app. So the first thing we need to do is we need to choose the page that's gonna host our bot. Uh, so we just click select page and we're going to click the page we just created and we're just going to click OK. And we're going to click OK again. And we have our page access token here. The next thing we need to do is we need to go to our uh, webhooks and we need to set up a webhook. A webhook is just pretty much a web address that Facebook talks to and that's how we can talk to Facebook. So if I click set up webhook, uh, I'm going to type in facebookbot.cz.ie and I have to put in a verify uh, token which is just uh, something that Facebook can use to verify that I in fact um, have control over this URL. So I'm just going to type in Francis for the uh, verify token. I'm going to tick all these boxes so that we have all the permissions we need. If you don't have HTTPS, it will actually give you an error and it won't allow you to use that callback URL. And what you can see here is I am running uh, this website on HTTPS for the tutorial. Uh, your callback, you would probably want to use, um, you know, a web page, so say a slash callback. But I'm going to use the index page of the bot, so I'm just going to leave it blank like this, and that will default to the index page. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click verify. You can see we got an error. So the reason we got an error is because 
Um, on our callback, we never actually sent Facebook any information. So you can see the response that they wanted was this number, but we didn't send them anything. And this number changes each time you uh, try to verify the page. So the way we fix that is we go to our page itself, and we're going to uh, just create a PHP block, and we're just going to first echo uh, the whole get array. Actually, if we echo that, we'll just get the word array returned to us. If I actually save this, you'll see that in action. Uh, if we just click verify and save, you can see Facebook received array. PHP can't print arrays using echoes, so you have to use the print R function to print an array. And Facebook doesn't actually want the entire array returned, it just wants the challenge that it sends to us. So if I click verify and save, and to hover over this, you can see we sent them back the array, but what they want is this number itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to print get and I'm going to just put in a string and say pub challenge. We're going to uh, click verify and save. And you can see that's um, our webhook set up. The reason we had to print hub challenge is because if we look at the uh, API documentation, you can see that uh, when Facebook sends a verification request, it sends these three parameters. Uh, but the only one it wants you to return is hub.challenge, but in PHP it's a uh, hub underscore challenge uh, in the get request. So we send that back to them and then Facebook realized it's us and they verified uh, the page. So we've set the webhook up, we actually need to click select a page, click best bot ever, click subscribe. That's our bot subscribed. So that's everything we're going to cover in this part. In the next part we're going to be uh, moving on and hopefully sending some messages uh, using our bot. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.